<laughs> yeah, I know. Hello, everyone. Um, well, welcome back to Cinders. You might be wondering what's been happening and where the next episode is. Yeah, um, I kind of fucked up. I recently updated from 1.82, I think it was, to 1.8. 9.1, or more specifically, I updated it to 1.90, then went to 1.91. Now, this has a very specific effect on this character. 111 hours worth of Zerlos, level 267. You see, what happens when I take any form of damage is instant death. And I mean instant death. I'm not sure why, my absorption and defense are pretty high. Um, I have no reason for it to be this bad, but it is. And I would like to demonstrate something. Okay, so let's see. We've got a shield that has, say, 95 defense, okay? This shield here. So this should block 95% of incoming physical damage. Hello, dog. Look at that. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but basically what this means is that the damage scaling is completely different. Or whatever, the inner workings of the mod have changed. And, um... Our boy here is not really viable anymore. I mean, I guess he could be if I really wanted to do some bonkers kind of no-hit run, but uh, there's no reason for me to do so because I'm not that kind of person. So, instead, I've done the only thing I can think of, which is I have started all over again, this time with the correct character name. So, what I've done with the little lad here is that I've basically gone through and started to build him in the same way. He doesn't quite have the exact same stats as the other guy, but he's close, and that's what matters. On top of that, um, some of the other weaponry I've decided to increase and upgrade in different ways have changed, the different infusion things has been there. So what matters is that I've started over so that I can continue the entire series. So what you're going to get now is an intermission's worth of a couple of episodes of me helping Rob get through the game so that we can continue the series. Anyway, enjoy. I thought I had- okay. I mean, I'd hope so. Go get them! <laughs> Whoever you are- oh, he's strong. Yeah, they are. It's- it's actually pretty good. Like, it's a decent way to, like, get through without feeling like you're constantly getting your ass slapped. I've been using the Scythe of Want for a while because it's- Weapon art is really, really weird. Really? It's actually fitting to the weapon itself, but it's kind of dangerous to use. What I do is... Oh, it's the Nishandra do Yeah, it and it causes... Oh, my health is really low. It doesn't I... look low, it looks full. I have 600 health. Why? Because I have 14 Vigor. Oh! Yeah. Um, I have uh, 1100 health. <laughs> I, I forgot this had happened. It's, it should be okay. Like, so long as I don't get bopped by anything. In terms of actual weaponry I've been using... This thing. Um, Abyssal Greatsword. Because it's an Ultra Greatsword that has this move set, But it has the Artorias bits over the top of it, which means that... Well, you have an Ultra Great Sword that you're swinging around, and then you suddenly do this. And it chains oh. together so quickly because it's a stance. But I'm still going to be punching things. Okie dokie. Uh... I've done that. Shortcut. Yes. Um... Oh, by the way. Sniper Crossgrow is broken as shit now. Explain? Um, well, it always kind of has been broken. But... What the hell? Okay, then. I Get can't them. see... I can't see your companion. So he just kind of, like, got... Oh, uh... How's that? Nope. <laughs> oh. 
Get them, Cornelius. <laughs> is it a dog or something? Oh. No, it's it's not. It's a uh, it's a Lothric knight. Oh, okay. How do you have that set so early? Are you using like? Um... No, I spawned with it. Oh, okay. So you started off as a bandit. Yep. Okay, hang on a minute. Why is that so? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I don't need it immediately. Okay, here we go. Buenos dias. Yeah, they changed the way frost works, didn't they? I think so. Ah. Get away from me. Nice. Love War Cry. <laughs> Jesus. I keep forgetting just how much power it puts behind everything. I gotta say, Gundir is definitely more difficult now. This this is an Aldia scientist that gives you focusing crystal. Oh yeah, the Aldia um do the focusing the way that it works now is that instead of chugging Listerine, you hold a crystal um for about I don't know four or five seconds and just get all your FP back, and you can do that as many times as you want. Which means that if you have a healing spell at all, you never have to bother with Estus. Honestly, to a certain degree, the only time I ever bother with Estus now is in combat or out of laziness. So, what do you reinforce the focusing crystal with? Um, resonating crystals. Um, one of the main things I'll say right now is that, weirdly enough, Oseros drops a lot of souls. And he's one of the best places to... Um, get stuff from. Like, if you... I remember mounting up everything, like, um, Fingers of Rosaria, Silver, um, Serpent Ring, a set that increases your soul absorption, um, the Shield of Want, and the Scythe of Want, and per kill, I'd be able to get, like, four, 144,000 souls or so. <clears throat> so, that's, like, one of the best places to just go over and over again. Odds and ends. What is your odds and ends? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't need a herb to do that. Oh, by the way, because you also have access to the dreg heap really, really early now, Akamarine Dagger. Really, really good. Wait for me, Smashwell. Do you appreciate the name Smashwell, by the way? Oh, I do, definitely. Uh, is it because he's got an axe, or is it because his penis is enormous? We just don't know. Oof. He's a mystery. Okay, that, that'll do. I can't actually change into regular human. I just have to be this color then. Oh, by the way, Great Sword of Artorius. It's a pure quality weapon now. So, it's so really, really good. Need for specific to get back here, you slut. There are a couple items in this that I saw because they're adding funky movesets to things now, which I appreciate. Oh, um, yeah. I really want to try the new twin spears. They look fun. Ooh, okay. The twin spears of the forlorn. Oh yeah, that's that one. Also, the king's quarter stuff. That one I've actually got. Um, hang on a minute. You have a button, Cornelius. You are. <laughs> there we go. I, this isn't upgraded at all, but I'm collecting things. Hmm, that move set though, it flows. Yeah. Oh, yes. So that's its weapon art. That's used up most of my FP. Um, let's see, what is its strong attacks like? Ooh, ooh, holy shit. So yeah, um... Wizard stick! <laughs> that is... I am Gandalf <laughs> the Infuriated. <laughs> so yeah, you... I'm getting that. By the way, you know how I did those whole, like like, one-line breakdowns of weapons in the different Souls games. I'm doing another one for Cinders. Cinders. Yeah. Except I have to put my foot down and do it only for 1.91 because it keeps changing. <laughs> fuck. Well, next patch is getting Frostfall, I think. Frostfall? It's a completely... So, Muffin, the dude that's been doing the weapon reworks... Yes. He's doing a completely custom-made weapon that has weapon art switching Bloodborne style on a uh. dagger. Oh, I appreciate this. It's been his, like, pet project for months, and he's, uh, yeah, he's been putting a lot into it, so I'm very, very curious to see what it's like. Cool. Alrighty. So... Oh, boys. 
I hit nobody. Well done, me. Also, one of the pro actually that reminds me, I need to do a Kalen build soon. Now that I know that the now that I know that the Lamberge is a dedicated drop. Because holy shit. Ugh. Right. Ugh. So at least my defense is relatively high. Yeah. They made throwing weapons better in this mod. They definitely did. Like, right, I, I'm, so I'm not a fan of it all scaling with like luck, but at the same time, it, I feel like that like luck has been given a lot in this mod. Like, just a well, lot. Well, I mean that's good because it used to be just like one weapon, and that was about it. Actually, do you want to get the Tonitris? Yeah. Another Nana disappeared. He lost his bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do I go from Nana Man? Um, Nana Man, go up into the roof of the building behind him. Um, and then drop down to me. D oh, okay oh. then. Well, hello. That was Ooh. just rude, but eh, well, stick. Dude doesn't drop down from the ceiling anymore. He's outside this time. I can't actually open that door. Okay. Ooh. Motherfucker. Ow. <laughs> ah, beautiful. <laughs> no spells, only knife. Oh, yeah. not enough distance. Ugh. Jesus, fuck. Okay, I'm glad that even with the debuffs, I'm still doing bullshit damage. Uh, okay, so that door to the curse rotted great wood is not going to be open because we need to go through the other side. Yes. So we're going to head back and do that now, I guess. I was tickled to see they put life gems in the game. <laughs> they, it, yeah, that's true. They have limited them greatly, so it is actually somewhat sensible, but the fact that they're there at all is kind of funny. I think the only thing I'm really waiting for them to put in, like, specifically, is the Sanctum Night set from Dark Souls 2? Ah, uh, yes. Because I am nothing if not predictable. Ow, damn it. Uh, ow. Can I open this door? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> what? What door? You know, you know how there's like the drop down thing in the middle? Um. Yeah. Like, and you, you drop down and you open up the door that can't be open for the other side? As a phantom, I- okay, good. I just realized I couldn't open it myself. And that would have been really embarrassing. <laughs> Even funnier because there's bars in the door. <laughs> Live there now. Girl, help! You're in gay baby jail! <laughs> <laughs> I am trapped in the room of soup. Actually, hang on a minute, hold still. Let me- that's not it. Let me show you- like, let me just fire off this bolt and just watch what it does. Uh -huh. It shatters? Yep, it's really, it causes bleed. It hits everything around it in just like a bunch of projectiles. It's really, really effective against small groups. It's the only other bolt I'm actually bothering to carry around. There is something there. There's that. Let me get that for you. Wrong button. Okay, cool. Bear with me. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, actually, we're gonna get invaded too. Great wooden hammer. Okay. Uh, Boop. Hello. Boop. Hello. Boop. Stop it. Excuse me. Little shit. Roderick, <laughs> I have a challenge for you. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks. It genuinely looks like he's just getting slapped by nothing. Well, I guess this sets the theme for what we're doing for this episode. <laughs> this is a balanced game. <laughs> what gift did you choose, by the way? Master key. Good. That means we can easily quickly go back in there once we get that around and. That was a sentence, apparently. Yeah, it opens from the other side. Okay, I was asking because that means that you don't have. Okay, welcome to Iraq. Ow. 
Okay, that's still not me over. That's just rude. Ooh. How are you still alive? So in there, you're gonna get the flamberge, the ow, the ashes, and the priest set. Also, mild head trauma. Okay, cool. Ah, there we go. Ah! Too fast. Ow. Bob. Oh! I'm okay. I did not realize that he is wielding the harp, and that's where that weapon comes from. I just thought there was like, here is a pokey little thing, for no reason. Oh no. Problem? I think Cornelius got a rock. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit, bees. <laughs> oh, she's just covered in knives. Which type of knife are you using? Two, three. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is a spellbound version of that. Let me check. I guess the guardian shiv kind of counts, but that one just kind of like homes in. I have no kukris on my person. Okay, then cool. Apparently, the, the phosphorescent pole apparently is really good now. This is a pure quality weapon. It's it's a literal everything weapon. And oh. its move set is a bit bonkers, honestly. I might actually put some effort into this one, because it's kind of just like a bit of everything. Jesus. But I'm not going to use it just yet, because it's completely unupgraded. Are you going to heal? Sometime soon? That is the question. Okay, let's just... I want to have to just watch you get pancaked. Actually, hang on. I need to, like, recharge my knives. Let me just sit down for a minute. Okay, there we go. Actually, I could probably take him out from here. Okay, two shots then. Oh good. Ooh. Okay, the tackle works, but it doesn't actually do any damage. Actually, hang on a minute. I see you there. Can I just, like, snipe you from here? Stop walking down. Oh, okay, whatever. Boop. Where'd you go, by the way? Um, opening stop. Okay. That reminds me, I need to go stick some stuff in the dryer because it's raining. Oh, okay, cool. I guess I'll, um, stand around and try to keep you safe. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay, all done. Yes. Okay. Right, what, what adventures did you go on? I just killed stuff with a crossbow, nothing much. Um, yeah, I just gotta go down, murder some rats. Go past the rats, punch some skeletons. The usual do doodly doos, that kind of thing. You're a functioning adult. Don't forget to pick up Velka's rapier. Oh, work. It's kind of a pity. Like I really, really want to use it more frequently, but it just—I don't know. Never really found the moment to use it yet. Boop boop. Any kind of build ideas you're planning on going for this, other than 99 strength? And what is that supposed to mean? I'm just asking if you had plans other than you really want- you just want to hit everything really, really hard. Isn't every build just to hit things really, really hard, but with, like, flavors of hard? <laughs> uh, we shall always- You know, what's your flavor? Concrete or bitumen? <laughs> I'm always a different flavor of hard. Wait a minute, like how did you make that. it down here? I plan on using the King's Quarterstaff. Oh, okay, cool. Hang on a minute. Let me let me check. So the king's quarter stuff is a slight is um. You need ten strength, thirty dexterity, and eighteen faith. So, even though it's even though it's like a dexterity weapon by the sound of it, you can easily just push it into being a strength weapon by infusing it. It's going to be fairly straightforward. On the other hand, the witch tree limb is pure strength. Weirdly enough, is there another one out there? Yep, there is. Okay. Trip train. Hello. And then... 
it's either right in the face or like not at all. Or even better, if you get the right angle, it looks like you're just grabbing the side of a head. Chosen Undead doesn't know how to, uh... <laughs> just... Doesn't know how to touch people. Touch me! Just, like, grabs a hold of the face gently, like, is this is this how people do that? <laughs> just imagine it's a bowling ball. <sighs> okay, so, now that we've got that, we can go ahead and fight the tree. Blood gem! <gasps> it's great axe-infusing time! Oh, God. <laughs> also, I do like the change they've made to primordial fragments. I don't know the change. The change is that instead of having its own set of, like, fragments, large fragments, and so forth, it's just an individual thing. And so it operates kind of similar to how, like, Twinkling Titanite or Titanite Scales works, in which you need okay. one, two, three, four, five, and then... Yeah, just five. Yeah, it gets plus 15. Yeah, also, you can, um, what's called affixing rings now, where you can actually increase the effectiveness of rings now directly and that uses primordial fragments you make them like plus one two three yeah so i'm uh, for example oh. so for example i have a plus elden ring uh, an elden ring plus three so instead of how in the elden ring increases your physical attack by 10 percent, the plus three increases it by 16 right this will go well i am the picture of health do you not have any give me a second do i have any way to heal you i think i do why do you not have any healing? What? what I used them. <sighs> Give me a second. Is that healing you? No. Okay. Fuck it. Whatever. I I don't have any ability to heal you right now. I think. <laughs> Oh, hmm. it's on, you're always just this really weirdly tanky bitch. It's just gonna be fine. And I just watch you walk off into the fog. Okay, cool. Have fun. Can I shoot anyone from here? Nope. Why is it at that angle too? What the hell? Okie dokie. Boom. Welcome to Remnant of the Ashes. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, I'm just making them explode at a distance. Whee! No thank you, you're not meant to be able to stand up. Can't reach that. Can't, can't reach it. There we go. Okay, where else? Hand. Hand. Fucking, okay, fine. Get back here. Excuse me, why can I not hit that? Oh no. Uh-oh. You good? Okay, I'm running out of spots that I know have. Front, it's covered in the front. Okay, then cool. There we go. Oh, also, the Black Knight set over there. I have no oh. idea why it's here, but it is. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, would smash well. Ugh. It's a good name. <laughs> oh shit, okay, I'm all the way back here, cool.